Hey guys, it's Brittany. I am back with another video. I'm gonna do like an earring blitz or something. I wanna just make a bunch of earrings using some um, bead soup that I have. So I've always just, I always put stuff in like a jar or a bowl or something. This is what's been in my um, apartment since I moved in. It's just a bead soup when sometimes I don't feel like putting something away, <laughs> it lands in here. So we'll see what we can make today. I don't know how many pairs are in here. So we'll see what we come up with. I'm just going to dump it out. I'm going to move the camera out a little bit. Um, hopefully I can pick pairs of enough stuff to make five pairs of earrings. And then I'll go grab some charms, some ear wires, stuff like that. And then we'll get to making. Um, so I'm going to take out the things. Ooh, hey. These are big guys. These are big bracelet size beads. But I don't see why we can't make earrings out of them. So there's pair one. Uh, what else we got? Darn, that guy is damaged. And this guy's not the same size, so it's okay. Um, what else do we have? Ooh, I'm seeing some pink glass. Ooh, I'm seeing a lot of this pink glass. Okay, I'm getting a good idea. I don't know what these came... Oh, you know what? These probably came from those, ch uh, those uh, crystal strands I got in Tucson. So this is like enough to make a necklace, not a pair of earrings, but this is an earring blitz video. So we'll, we'll do something with these pink ones. This also gets me out of my comfort zone because like those aren't going to be the beads that I refer to first, uh, when I'm looking to make, uh, something. Um, let's see what else I know we're seeing these two hearts. They're so pretty though. And I can't wear earrings. All right. We'll put them to the side just in case. Oh, I'm seeing two charms. So oh, this one's Oh, it's just dirty. It's not, it's not damaged. These probably came off of, I get a lot of clearance jewelry at um, Walmart when, you know, I go grocery shopping or whatever. I'll just pop over to the jewelry section, see whatever's on clearance. Sometimes they have necklaces or some bracelets for a dollar, two dollars, and I just grab them. And then I'll, if it's, if it's something that I think I'll use, I'll take it apart. And that's where that came from. Um, what else do we have today? Gosh, we had a lot of those pink beads. Um, do I have anything else that really matches? Oh, we've got these guys. These are some kind of gemstone that I got in Tucson. Okay. Seeing some spacers. This one's tarnished. It'll be good enough. What else? What else? I know I'm probably driving some of you crazy and passing up pairs and stuff, but oh, here we have another pair of these beads. So I don't know if that will, will do something with them, but... Oh, I have some of these acrylic beads. These I will be distashing later on, so it'd be cool if I can make a necklace or a uh, pair of earrings with them. Oh, we have two of these check glass beads. Those are pretty. Oh, a polymer clay bead over here. It's fun kind of going through this. Oh, these are cute. I know I've used those recently. Oh, I used those on that cactus necklace. That's where they, those came from. Um, we have these two awesome. Ah, oh, gosh, this one's damaged. Okay, so I'm also seeing some pairs of spacer beads that might be helpful. Um, I see one charm. Ooh, another pair of spacer beads. Is this a button? No, that's a... Is it a bead? Or, oh, it's a weird bead. It's like a diamond. I wish I had another one of those. That would be a great um, pair of earrings. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of crystals that match each other seeing these little pink bicones. I'll put them to the side just in case. I know I have a huge bag of um, bead soup that I just put in, packed away. Here's um, some Howlite rondelles. 
so we can get some gemstones going on. Let's see. Oh, we have two Drew. Well, yeah, two like Druzy ish beads. We have a couple of these um, bone beads with brass in them. Those are cool. We have some chain that I can turn into something. Oh, I thought I saw two of these, but this must have been the same one that I saw a couple times. So I see some things in here that I can turn into a necklace, like this guy, which I know I have another one of these somewhere. This big guy, this boho bead, which I'm taking out right now because I have my Jesse James beads, boho beads in a different spot. Um, so that's cool. Um, and then I see some stone beads. Uh, anything else? Oh, I like these. They're glass. Okay, so I have a few pairs. Um, just checking to see if there's anything else in here. I got some more spacers. A couple bead caps. Oh, this bead cap's like deformed. Look at that one. <laughs> looks scary. Um, I guess I could cut that off, but I'm not going to right now. So some more spacers. Okay, I think we have a good start and then um, I will, we're going to just go design on the fly with what we have left. Oh, we've got two cute little flowers too. Oh, another flower. No, nope, that's a different color. I've got two hot pink pearls. Are these the same size? No. One is slightly smaller than the other. I think one's, this one's plastic, that one's glass, but they're exactly the same color. It's so funny. Um, I'm wondering if I have another one of these here. Sorry, I know if this is driving you crazy, go ahead and fast forward. Totally understandable. Okay, I think, I think I've gotten everything I'm going to get at this point. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and grab a bead board and we'll get started. Okay, so let's start. Um, I, I had some of these little um, antique bronze uh, spacer beads. I really like how those looked with I had a couple things in mind here so I guess I'm not going to use just stuff that was in the bead mix but um, it was helpful to like clear out some of my items so to my side I have um, some bead uh, I'm sorry some head pins eye pins um, some wire and some spacer beads so I also saw these I found these today when I was going through a bag I thought they were really cute. They're little starfish. So we can make a little starfish pair of earrings. And these are not gonna be probably the best, coolest, most glamorous earrings you've ever seen, but they're gonna be sweet. Um, I actually had a bowl of spacer beads like just hanging out somewhere. So I'm gonna go through here and hopefully I have an antique brass one in here. I don't really use antique brass that much. You guys know that. so. I can't tell what color that is. I think it is an amber teeth grass. So, ooh, I have two of them. I'm going to grab an, a head pin. Wow, these are really long. These are three inch. I don't know if I need a three inch head pin for these tiny earrings. What else do I have? Oh, I have eye pins. Oh, I have smaller head pins. Woohoo! Okay. Never know what you're gonna find in this circus. <laughs> so, oh, but I need eye pins anyway because I'm gonna have to hook it to this. Gosh, guys, I swear, 
I swear I know I'm doing about 72% of the time. The rest, well, you've seen the rest. So I have a couple eye pens and I am just going to go ahead and do simple loops on these. Um, I don't know if I want the, do I want the highlight on the bottom or the top? So we'll have to look. Uh, this is a big hole. That's okay. And then we'll take our spacer and our highlight. So do we like it like that? Or do we like it like this? Just love how like ancient these beads make it look. These brass beads, these are from um, uh, Beads Ink or Christine White style. Uh, let's see, which one do I like? I like them both equally. I think. These just look like sunken treasure to me. I think, I think, I think I like both of them literally equally, but I think I'm just gonna go with this one. Um, so I'm just going to make a simple loop. I am not going to, um, I am not going to wire wrap these. So for my simple loops, I just bend it, snip off as much as I'll need to create my loop, and then make my loop. Okay. So that's a little loose meaning like the beads are slipping around. So I would probably make this loop a little bit smaller. I'm just gonna snip it right here. And there we go. It's a lot tighter. So there's our first link, it's so cute. And then even right here, you could still decide, do I want it to, well, he wouldn't want the, the smaller spacer bead to be on the bottom, but I really like that. Um, and then I'm going to get a different pair of pliers and I'm going to open that up and slip it on my jump, or not my jump ring, my charm. So funny, I haven't, I've had, oh God knows how long I've had these charms and I saw them today, I was like, oh, let's include those in our little earring blitz. And then we have a cute, like, sea treasure. This reminds me of, like, sunken treasure, um, a boat that has um, sunk and somebody's going through it and they find old coins and, and some starfish or something. So that's super cute, oh my gosh. And then I'm going to just do the same thing on this side. Stack, oh, uh-oh, we lost our bead. <laughs> Okay, he wasn't gone forever. Put our spacer. This brass is a little damaged, but I think, you know, I think it adds character. It's not the brass that's damaged, it's the bone bead that's damaged. And then I'll just do the exact same thing, create my loop, or fold it, snip. And then create my loop. Actually, I might have cut this a little too short, but we'll make do. No, it's not too short, it's perfect. And then we'll slip this open and put it on our um, charm. I don't know if I have antique brass uh, earring wires at the moment but I'm pretty sure you can see or understand what the earrings would look like even without the the earring charms oh my gosh those are so cute perfect for summer oh gosh I really like those all right so 
what am I gonna do with all these earrings that I'm making today? Because <laughs> I can't wear them. Uh, these are super cute. So I'm gonna put them to the side and we'll look at them when we're finished. Okay, um, next, I wanna do something with these. We have these gold, one is dirty. I'm trying to like clean it up with my, just my fingers. Um, we have these gold coins. Um, oh, 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 I saw beads earlier that I really, really wanted to use. But they were gold. Here, I'm gonna get rid of these. I don't like those right now for this. I think I got these from Pam um, Gamora. be super simple but they're gonna be kind of oh not kind of they're gonna be very elegant um, let's see if I have another bead to put on top of that big bead mm. we had these I don't know that they absolutely match but they don't not match <laughs> sorry I, I know how to speak English sometimes it just slips in my mind that maybe what I'm saying is not the right thing um, Let's see, and then I need another spacer. Oh, you know what? I can use a bead cap as a spacer here. Oh, this is gonna be super cute. All right. See, your the beads, like I just, sometimes with bead soup, I'm just like, ugh, I'm so sick of these beads. Like I looked at them a hundred times, but if then you, you, after you've done, you've looked at them a hundred times, look at them a hundred and one times and boom you have a new outlook now I'm trying to see if I have a gold head pin I'm coming up with gold eye pins here's a gold head pin so um, earring one put this on the bottom because I just love these beads I'm gonna have to make a bracelet with these beads so I can actually wear something with them on um, put on our little blue orb our bead cap our next bead our bead spacer so okay so there's one idea we could do it like that which actually that's actually super cute but we could also do it like this sorry goldy hair in the way and I lost my spacer oh no there he is I know you guys are probably sick of, oh, I lost my scissor. <laughs> oh, I have my quirks. So then we could do that, and I actually kind of like this better, but we have two options. We could just do it all on one earring, or we could make it a little bit more, um, not elegant, but more complicated. It's not even that more complicated, but I just need to find one more head pin to do it this way. Okay, I found one more head pin. So, what we could do which I kind of like this idea better is if we had this one floating at the bottom and then have it connected to these guys so I'm going to try that on this side so I'm just going to do what I did with my last pair of earrings I'm going to cut and make a simple loop Not the best loop I've ever made, that's for sure. But it got the job done. And then I will go ahead and grab this guy and do the exact same thing. Bend. I've seen other people do the loop first and I don't, I, I literally don't know how their brains work that way. <laughs> I've tried, um, but I always just bend, cut, and then loop. Um, but if you're comfortable doing it your own way, I'm totally, that's, that's awesome. Um, and so we have a loop up here. And then we'll just open the loop on our bottom piece.
close it up. Gosh. Sometimes with the camera in the way, it's a little more awkward. Okay. So there's our second earring. Oh gosh, that's so pretty. And this one reminds me of like Mediterranean almost, but also the ocean again. That one's so pretty. So let me do the same on the second earring. Sometimes I save these, sometimes I don't. Those are long enough for me to save to make eye pins out of later. Although I don't tend to use a lot of eye pins lately. I should. I mean, back when I was making jewelry all the time, man, I was making earring after earring after earring. And I always save those because they're a good money um, saver. All right, so then we just pile our beads on. Oops. just love these well you guys know I love these colors <laughs> but they're, they're making me happy okay and then we just grab our little guy open him up And here is our second pair of earrings, which are just super cute, so simple. And it used up four beads from our um, bead soup. And these would be a cute gift. Um, these will probably either be donated to Dress for Success or I'll give them away. But aren't they really pretty? I really like those. These guys are like some of my favorite charms. So, be, uh, pair two down pair three I'm gonna have to think about this one so I see these weird um, flowers and they're side drilled they're not drilled through the bottom so I'm thinking wire wrapping but they have really thick silver wire and I'm thinking the wire for my gold is less thick, but I don't like that color with gold. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what it looks like. And if I hate it, I just wasted a couple pieces or like a piece of wire. It's not going to be a big deal. Okay. So I just cut a piece of wire. I don't know how long it is. Maybe nine inches long. I'm going to slip it through um, our bead sideways. We're going to bring it up we're gonna bring up one like straight up and then we're gonna wrap this one around it okay so we're making our own loop see and you can use pliers this is bendable malleable enough that I can just use my fingers to um, start the wire wrapping it's not very pretty but that'll be covered up okay and I'll snip it off in the back sorry my hands are in the way okay so step one was getting wire around our little flower. It's so cute now. <laughs> it wasn't cute like a half a second ago. I thought actually thought this flower is a little ugly. But um, and gosh knows where it came from. So we can leave it like this if you want, or we can. Um, I'm going to. Well, we could do a couple things actually. So we could leave it like this and then wire wrap a loop, or I could just put on another bead. And that could hang, this could be like our um, head pin, basically, for our bead. I don't really love how that looks. Is 
chevron bead from the other day. Oh, that's super sweet. Oh, that's adorable. All right, so I have some, I still have more spacers. spacer than that first. And we didn't didn't we just go through this? I don't have the right spacers over here. Uh, I have a sparkly one. I don't know that this will work. Actually, that looks a little bit better down there because it hides part of the wire wrapping. I'm going to get another a flatter spacer and then I'll be right back. Okay, I grabbed a couple different spacer beads. So I have really teeny tiny ones. These are teeny tiny crystal spacer beads. I don't know if that's focusing. There we go. And then I have just regular spacer beads. So I bought it, I brought a bunch over just to kind of see how how this can go. I just love this. It's so cute. Um, so I'm gonna just slide that on. Of course, I made this way too long. Um, that looks good, but then I also kind of want to just amp it up a little bit and put on another spacer bead. It's just sparkly. Just make it happy. There aren't any rules. I'm like trying to to remind everybody there aren't any rules when it comes to making jewelry. As long as it stays together, it's a lot of fun. All right. So I'm actually, I think that's so cute. I'm just going to go with it. I'm going with it, guys. There aren't any rules. I just said that like six times. <laughs> so I just have to remind myself sometimes. So I'm just going to make, I'm, I'm going to wire wrap the loop on this one. Just always depends on the actual earring itself, whether I wire wrap or um, just do a simple loop. And it also, also depends on time. So uh, let's try, trying to get this in the, video is never fun for me but it's cool once it's videoed captured I don't know all right so normally if the tail was shorter I would just grab it with some pliers but tail was really long in this situation and we have an earring Super cute. Okay, I'm going to wrap this around just a little bit more and then snip it. Oh my gosh, it looks like a little garden for your ear. That makes me happy. I used to make stuff with flowers. Like, if you looked at my um, Etsy page, it was all flowers. So that I don't use flowers that much anymore kind of makes me sad. So maybe I'll start using flowers more. But there's our our earring. Oh, it's a little a little crooked let's see if we can get them fixed um, it's because part of this uh, wrap is up into the bead but I think it still gives it some character there we go she's a little crooked but so am I <laughs> all right so there's our earring oh my gosh it is so cute I love it okay so I'm gonna make the second one off camera just to go really okay quick. so I also found some antique brass um, uh, ear wires so I can finish off those first earrings we did. Um, I have these gold plated um, ear wires that I'm just going to slip on our earring stack, close it, twist it closed, don't ever pry, and then um, we'll just kind of straighten this guy out. Um, I actually think actually think we need to switch it around a little bit 
Oh, yeah, he's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, I think this, I keep saying, <laughs> this is the problem I have. Once I make something, the next thing I make is like the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and not saying, I'm not like trying to brag or anything. I just think it's so cute that object permanence isn't a real thing for me. <laughs> if I see one thing that's cute I, I, and then I see something else, I'm like, oh no, that one's cuter. That one's cuter. It's not that I think I make the best jewelry on earth. It's definitely that I just think all jewelry and beads are cute. Um, okay, so... <clears throat> just making sure that I am good to go with these oh my gosh everything I'm making is reminding me of my mom my mom would love these like look how cute they are they're so unique cute and handmade and I just love like the glitz up at the top oh those make me so happy okay so we have those oh and I have um ear wires for the other gold ones I'm just going to quickly open these up and slip them on and the good thing is it doesn't these don't have a bad side um, so we'll see which side they actually work out with I do like the textured side more than than just the inside of the starfish sorry I'm doing that off camera so here we go Goldie again it's like dinner time she's looking at me like mom when are we gonna eat when are we gonna eat oh you want to come see me honey okay oh. And she's up on the couch with me. <laughs> I had to move a couple things out of the way. That's why she was staring at me. Okay. And then we will put this one on. This was a fun video. I mean, I know I still have two more to go, two more pairs to go, but those are super cute. Okay. So we are at pair three. Now we, or we just finished pair three. Now we're at pair four. Um, what do we have here? We have these guys. So I want to definitely do something with these. Um, what? I have no idea. I did grab these out of my stash. I have tons of filigree. We will do some filigree only videos coming up when I move because I, I just got to use them up. I used to use them on every single necklace I made, um, when I was making jewelry to sell and, uh, and now I have an, a, a ton of them. These are really big. I don't think they would look very good with this size filigree. Dang it, because I had a ton of those and I really wanted to use these filigrees. Um, okay, okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. What can we do with these guys? I'm trying to figure out what's around me, what I'm looking at that can be incorporated these can be incorporated too so I don't know <laughs> I have these who are also in there I really want to use these these are kind of cool I think they have like Picasso on the sides um, what do I have that would look nice with those probably some pressed glass flowers but I don't know if I still have those near me. Okay, so I did find some pressed glass flowers. I got these from Beadbox Bargains, bar uh, the monthly subscription sister site. And I think, I don't know if you can see these. These are like a pale green luster-ish. And I'm just gonna do a quick chandelier with these guys. Grab some head pins. I mean, this is, I mean, these are all re really basic earrings, but they're fun to use up some supplies that you normally wouldn't be able to use in like another project. So um, I'm just going to um, do my same simple loop technique bend, snip, And then create a loop. I actually don't love these uh, pliers. Oh, sorry for making just simple loops because they're a little thicker than some of the pliers I have. Otherwise, I, these are my favorite pliers. But the loops end up being never cut enough when I'm trying to make smaller loops because these pliers are a little bigger. So um, I'm going to go ahead and close that up. Sorry, it's like off to the side here.
whoops, sorry, I can't do it in the camera. <laughs> it's too delicate work. One second. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that one, two, three, four, five, nine more times because I need 10, I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and did nine more for a total of 10 and then I'm just going to take my pliers and I'm going to slide that open and hook it on to my filigree. So these beads are double-sided and they'll swing around so gosh uh, it won't matter which way the bead is facing. Sorry I'm having some technical difficulty here with this. There we go. Don't know what's going on there. Let me grab my other pliers. Much better. And just um, wiggle those closed. You want to make sure it's close as possible. Sorry, I thought it was in camera, but it wasn't. Um, you want to make sure it's as close as possible so that that filigree, because it's so thin, it doesn't fall off. So, oh my gosh, it's going to be cute. All right, I'll do the rest and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's our finished pair of earrings. I put it on them both on um, an ear wire already. And oh my gosh, these are so sweet. Now, the funny part is they didn't the beads didn't come out of my bead soup, but they inspire the beads in my bead soup inspire me to go find something I haven't used in years. Like you guys have not seen really a filigree on my channel and certainly not a pair of earring filigrees. So um, bead soup can be super inspiring. Now I'm losing my light here, but I definitely want to make my fifth pair of earrings and I'm going to do something so quick it's going to blow your mind. So uh, sorry, these are really hard to like just lay out and show you, which I really want to do. There we go. Aren't those so cute? Oh, and then if you wanted to go further, you could brush this with some um, patina from Vintage or some paint or whatever. Um, I like the way this looks like this, but either way, I think it's just so sweet. Um, okay, so real fast, we're gonna make a lightning pair of earrings, okay? We're gonna take these uh, black glass beads. They came on, and this one's even damaged a little bit. They came on those strands that I got in my Tucson haul, so we'll make that the front of that one so you can't see the damage on the front of the back of that one. And, there's a little chip in that one. That one's not too bad. So this one will be the front of this one. Um, since I have some gold ear wires readily available, I'm going to take my gold wire. I am going to cut a length. Again, I'm just eyeballing it. It doesn't really matter. Eh, it's probably about 10 inches, maybe a foot. No, it's probably a foot at least. So I'm going to take one bead. I'm going to bring it down my wire and then I'm going to take the bottom of the wire so there's not very much on here just enough to wire wrap a couple loops and I'm going to bring it up the back of the bead and I'm going to wrap it around the wire at the top so uh, essentially we made this bead a uh, head pin or a wire or a, a pendant whatever you want it to be so it's a little loose on the back. You can keep it like that. It's not going anywhere. I'm just going to take my pliers and I'm going, so we don't have the wire just hanging out back there like that. I'm going to just do a little crimp like that. And now the wire is, it's stationary. It's not going anywhere. So I will do cut a little bit of my, well, I'll cut my, uh, my tail on the bottom part of this wire okay and then I'm going to do a wire wrapped loop bend backwards and then bring this forward and we regrip bring the loop all the way around okay and then I'm going to grab my loop again well if I don't drop my bead I'm going to bring this down a little bit grab my loop okay and then I'm just gonna wire wrap until I am satisfied so you can do this with or without pliers um, I'm gonna do it with 
I'm sorry, I, I, I think I mentioned either in this video or, in, or the other one I did today, uh, the closer the wire wrap is to my face, the easier it is for me to wire wrap it. And this is not close to my face at all. This is in a camera. So um, you would just keep going around. Sorry, it's just so hard to show you while I'm holding. You would keep going around um, until it's wire wrapped to your to your liking. I don't want to murder it on the camera, so I'm going to go ahead and wire wrap it, and then I'll, I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so now we've messy wrapped two beautiful beads. I think I learned this technique from Candy Cooper. Um, it's such a great technique. This would be a fantastic um, pendant, too. So that's how you turn a bead, in, any bead, into um, a pendant into a head pin, however want you want to use it. Um, but it's also a super fast way to eat, eat up some um, beet soup. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my ear wire. Now these are a little heavy, so I would make sure that whoever you gift these to, sell them to, knows that they're heavy and has a, a sturdy ear lobe. <laughs> um, I could not wear these. I need feather light earrings for them to work for me. Um, but I think they're gorgeous. Okay, can you believe it? We made five pairs of earrings out of bead soup. So it kind of, it gets, it's a good motivator. So if you're in a slump, just start making stuff. You don't have, you don't have to have a design in mind. It could be, you can make 10 pieces of garbage, whatever you want. And you don't, the good thing is you don't have to finalize it. You can just put it on a bead, um, on a, uh, a head pin and leave it there. Walk away for a minute and then walk back and then change it around. You don't have to, to do the loop right away. Um, I'm going to go ahead and slip these onto up my ear wires because I forgot I didn't do that with these. I can't believe we just made five ear, ear pairs of earrings. That was awesome. I love doing that because then it gets me motivated. I'm like, oh, but what can I make that now? What can I make next? And it just spurs on creativity. Okay, so we have these beautiful black earrings. And I'm gonna get this bead mat out of the way because not, it's not my favorite. Okay, so we have these beautiful black earrings. Okay. And then we have these adorable aqua and, and teal or aqua and blue. Those are just so happy. This just make me so happy. <laughs> and then um, we have the starfish. I'm going to call these my sunken treasure earrings. They're so cute. And then we also, one, two, three, made, oh, I forgot about these guys that quick. Object permanence, guys. These beautiful um, floral earrings. They just remind me of, I'm going to call me, these my happy garden earrings. And then we have these adorable vintage inspired um, filigree and pressed glass flower earrings. So. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching and listening to me ramble while we were designing these earrings. Um, let me know what you think. If you like, Ear, uh, earrings a lot. I'm going to try and do some more videos because I honestly used to make them all the time and I just, since I don't wear them, I, t I tend not to, to make them, but I still know people who love them and I can gift them. Um, so if you guys have an earring idea that you'd like to see, or if you'd like to see more earring blitzes, 
let me know. We can do a bracelet blitz. We can do a necklace blitz. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which one was your favorite. And if you know anybody who would enjoy uh, my jewelry making videos or any of my videos, um, please share. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye. Hi, Goldie. You hiding?